So the steps to pass the the IO expander firmware into the Cyclone Pro. Uh, just in case you don't know, the SAP file must be um, downloaded from here. Right click and uh, choose Save As. I already have this file number downloaded, so will not do it again. Um, also, of course, you need to have the um, Cyclone utilities that are downloaded from um, PNE Micro. Then you open the Pro Image Management utility, not the um, which is another one, which is Image Creation. That's not the one we are interested in. Um, it automatically detects. I mean the, the Cyclone is now connected through USB and it's also powered on. It opens, it's now empty. You go here, add the images, choose the part number, and then you click commit changes. This pops up, click yes, and now the image is, uh, is, is, is in the device. You can close this and disconnect the device. Everything should be up and running. Um, that's all the steps in case you don't have that uh, that uh, application you can get it from any micro here this is the one that I have installed and I'm not sure if this one also has the drivers but it's here this uh, installation is for the for the peony drivers and I presume that maybe the problem that customer was having is that they were opening the file with this uh, application. Mm, don't remember very well with this application. So this one, mm, I don't know why it doesn't open. Perhaps it, it doesn't. Um, it, it's trying to find in the local computer the the source files that build the SAP files, and those are not provided by us because we are not there. I hope this uh, helps you. Uh